wonders the future of train travel so in the upcoming years what is going to happen all the normal trains will be converted into this kind of the trains which have which will have actually the good speed they run at a very good uh, speed so how how do they work actually so did you know some trains can move on tra- tracks without wheels so this train actually does not have wheels they do not require and you might have seen indian trains indian trains what do they have they have the wheels right they they run on the tracks and all by using that wheels but these trains do not have the wheels they work actually because of the magnet so maglev trains use strong magnets to float and move about the tracks so very interesting point children see suppose this is a track okay the train is not actually on the track it is above the track some some gap of almost 6 to 8 cm is there between the train and between the track and how do they work because of the magnet so because of the magnet they are able to actually move that train so gap is there between the track and between the train so that is why it is said that they float actually so maglev trains use strong magnet to float and move above the track so this is the track suppose this is the track there will be a gap of a, around some 8 to 6 cm and then above it what will be there the train will be there running the word maglev comes from the magnetic levitation so m e g from the magnetic they have taken the mag and levitation l e v so that is how it is called as the maglev and levitation means something which runs on the magnet or the magnetic force so this actually train runs on the magnetic or the magnetic force or the magnet that is why it is called as a magnetic levitation so have you ever wondered how maglev trains float so what is the reason they float actually so already we have discussed in the before class is that the like poles repel each other so harshit what are the poles actually ma'am what are the poles ma'am the two sides of the magnet very good so what are the two sides north and south very good so we know very well one property is there which which says that the like poles will be repelling so if the north and north will be there then they both will not attract each other they will be repelling same way if the south pole and south pole are there then they will be repelling so they what happens in them they will be keeping the same type of the uh poles close to each other so magnets with like poles push the train upward and make it float so i'll show you a video now how it basically works okay it's a 17 minutes video but a very very interesting and very useful video so i'll just share my screen नया रिन लिक्विड रखे कपड़ों की नई जैसी चमक बरकरार सौ दिलाई तक दीदी की ड्रेस पे टेस्ट करे वाओ न्यू है छूना भी मत सौ बार पहनी और धोई भी <laughs> फिर भी नई कैसे नई रिन लिक्विड से जो कपड़ों की नई जैसी चमक को रखे बरकरार ट्राई कीजिए Want to find cheap hotel rates? Agoda. Download the Agoda app today. So, I'll play this now. Buried here, deep in. See, uh, I think in the movies and all, you might have seen these trains. World's rare. Buried here, deep in a Japanese mountain pass, is one of the world's rarest technologies. A 43 kilometer long magnetic levitation. So this is 43 kilometer long, actually. will eventually become part of the world's first intercity maglev train connecting tokyo and osaka with the So see can you see the gap actually between the uh, track and the train Yes ma'am Bhavish can you see Harshit can you see the gap between the track and the train Yes ma'am See the gap the clearly 10 cm gap actually here 10 cm above their track while pummeling along at a mind-boggling speed of 500 km/h 
with no physical contact with the track they can operate in any weather so generally what happen in our india when the uh, the weather is not so appropriate the rain does not work right they they will not be moving on the track they will not allow them to move on the track but here any weather is there whatever the weather is there it does not affect them costs due to reduced friction and fewer moving parts despite the advantages of maglev trains over traditional high speed trains the only commercial high speed maglev line currently in operation is just 30 kilometers long connecting shanghai airport to its city a journey the train makes in only 8 minutes but so they are covering almost like 30 to 40 kilometers in just 8 minutes this short largely defeats the advantage of high speed maglev by the time the train gets up to speed it needs to slow down again so 30 km version metro yeah correct but see uh, you have listen this word what uh, what they said the moment the they the train will be increasing the speed or they will be coming to the normal speed actually what happen they the like, stop will come fine so suppose now the train has started from a point a as soon as uh, a minute got over they have taken their speed then what happened after the few minutes they have to stop because their station has come so that is a draw back actually you know just making the train to work with a constant speed and then again coming down to the normal to the uh, station so that is a problem a long journey in 8 minutes actually equates to an average speed of 225 km so because of this what happened the speed decreases right initially they try to increase the speed the moment they increase the speed what happened the station has come and they have to decrease the speed so what is the use of 500 or 600 km per hour so that is a reason that these kinds of trains are successful where the distance are um, distance is more so if distance is more then they can increase the speed to 600 km or 500 km per hour and ultimately they can reach to the destination but if the distance is less like they have spoken about the chingai airport which is there in the uh, china so what happen the moment they are increasing the speed they have to decrease it because the station has come so that is a drawback or slower than the top speed of conventional high speed rail the planned future network of high speed maglev trains is just 400 kilometers long and it pales in comparison to the extensive network of 60 so what happened because of that some some of the area actually when they tested the train the speed of the train has been reduced to 400 km it is because of the you know the less distance between the stations thousand kilometers of regular high speed train tracks already in place around the world with an additional 50000 kilometers under construction why is this gap so large Let's delve deeper into how maglev trains work and explore the reasons behind their restricted deployment. So the future of trains magnetic levitation it means the future of trains maglev. We have two primary methods of levitating a train. We can pull the train up using attractive forces or push the train upward using repulsive forces. so two kind of things can be done by using a tractor force they can uplift it or by using the electromagnetic force they can uplift it the pulling approach involves a combination of a magnetic iron rail and an electromagnet that uses attractive forces to raise the body of the train this is an active system where the gas see now what happens the down uh the down track they have actually arranged an electromagnet there which produces what the magnetic field can you see the coil like structure around it along uh, around the electromagnet yes ma'am so that is actually the magnetic field okay so that electromagnet has been surrounded by the electro by the uh, magnetic field and because of that what happened with the help of the magnet and with the help of the electricity that magnetic field start activating and because of which the kind of the magnet you can see on the magnetic rail and on the electromagnet both the sides have the magnets one side the north the other side the south and the upper also they have the magnets between the rail and the magnet is crucial as the strength of the attractive force decreases with the square of the distance meaning the train needs active controls and feedback loops to ensure that these gaps stay between 8 and 12 mm if the train begins to drop the magnetic force holding it up will quickly weaken causing it to fall even further it's an unstable configuration 
These types of trains are referred to as electromagnetic suspension trains. This is the system the 30 km line in Shanghai uses. Japan opted to use a different system, with a more significant gap of 10 cm between the track and train, 8 times greater than the gap for electromagnetic suspension, while also providing a passively stable method of levitation, a vital property to have in the earthquake-prone region. In this approach, so this is actually what happened now when the area where the earthquake frequently comes in that area, earthquake generally comes on the you know earth, the gravity will be there. So when this a train is little upward, right, the gap of eight to ten ten centimeter is there. So because of that, it does not affect the train also. Magnets on board the train interact with passive coils on the track. As the train moves over these coils, they experience a changing magnetic field which generates the opposing field that lifts the train upward. So what happened, they have arranged in such a way that south and the north pole will be there. The south, the north pole will be uh, attracting towards that north pole and then this north pole will be releasing the magnetic field towards the south pole. And because of which a difference will be created. Uh, to example, way, what happened is like, uh, sometimes what happened, like, you know, you wanted something, your mother wanted to something, but ultimately what happens since your opinion does not match, your father will help you to out, right? To solve that problem or to solve that any numerical problem or any something, right? Or maybe like you have the problem, the father is helping out but not getting the answer. So what do you do? You ask your mother to help you out. Same way, the North Pole, what do they do? They will be, uh, they will be attracting towards the magnet. Then they will be releasing the magnetic field to South Pole and that's how it starts. Working. If the train is stationary on top of the coils, there is no change in the magnetic field. So if the train is standing there, then there is no change actually because the magnetic fields are not working. The moment it starts, it starts, you know, repelling. The north will be repelling to the north and it starts sending the magnetic field to the south. The dynamic system only works when the train is already going fast. The trains have wheels that drop down when the train is slowing down but flip into the carriage when they reach see now we said like they do not have the train they do not have the wheel but what happened the moment they have to stop they need the wheels actually because as we have already mentioned if the train is moving continuously a magnetic field will be created and because of that what happened there will be the gap and it does not allow actually to stop so that is why to avoid that they have kept the wheels also so that when they press the button automatically what happened the magnetic field will stop and the wheels will be coming down and they get stopped kilometers per hour. in order to achieve a stable it's like uh, um, the flight also right in, in the flight have you seen that when the flight start landing or it start taking off what happened to it Have you ever like been into the flight? Mom, the wheels, mom, the wheels come out of the plane, and uh, while it's landing, it will like uh, it um, creates friction so that it stops. Correct. Harshit, have you ever, ever been into the flight? No, ma'am. Okay, Bhavesh, what about you? Yes, ma'am. So uh, you might have seen in that case, right? So what happened as soon as we have, we are landing, actually the flight is landing, the aeroplane is landing, the the wheels of that flight will start coming out actually. From the air itself, they start coming out and the moment they start landing, those, those wheels will create the friction and they stop the flight actually, they stop it. So that is why, you know, when they, the lot of, lot of pressure, lot of pressure and lot of friction is there because of which we feel it like we are shaking when we are landing, right? For a, for a minute, actually, not for so, so many minutes. For a minute, we feel like, you know, what happened to us, actually? But nothing wrong because of the friction, because of a lot of pressure on the wheels of that aeroplane, we feel it. Same way, when these trains stop, they require the wheels. If the wheels are not there, they'll keep on moving, actually. They will keep on moving. And if they, if in, by chance, if we imagine also, okay, they have stopped. Then what happened? A gap will be there, right? That gap between the train and the uh, track will continuously create the electromagnetic field. And because of which, we cannot stop it actually. So that is the reason they are using the wheel, but only for stopping it. And when initially they start the uh, train, 
those will does not work actually they will not be working because they need the speed of 400 500 600 km per hour yeah the track the north and south poles are arranged vertically on the sides of the track the magnets are formed from coils of wire see how <clears throat> the magnetic coils are arranged there in such a way that they keep on flowing a south pole points up on one side while the north pole points up on the other if the train were to drop slightly or move sideways the magnets on the train induce currents on the opposite coils generating a stronger magnetic field which pushes the train back to the midpoint of the figure eight shapes. This dynamic system is forgiving, with the 10 centimeter gaps between the track and the train naturally maintained with no need for complex control inputs. However, the Japanese maglev train called LO will be the first of its kind. These trains known as SC maglevs need superconducting coils to generate the extremely powerful permanent magnetic field on the train. These are the coils that induce the changing magnetic field and allow the train to levitate in a stable configuration. These coils, located on each side of the carriage, must be maintained below their critical temperature to ensure... So what happens is like since resistance. they are using the uh, electromagnet for this purpose, what happened is like, you know, since the electricity is also being used, so they cannot... They cannot in keep on increasing the temperature. The moment they keep on increasing the temperature, what happens? At a certain point, it might blast also. The electricity will not work. Or the temperature will increase so much that the coil will get it heated up. Uh, you might have seen, might be, you know, in the uh, geyser, like water geyser will be there, right? So when you heat it so much, the instant geyser, when you heat them so much, then what happens? Automatically, there will be a small uh, kind of the structure which is present inside the geyser. It burns up. Because what happened, we have given a lot of temperature. We have heated the water so much that because of so much of heatness, it got burned up. Same way, if the constant temperature is not maintained in this maglev trip, then what happened? There will be a default in the train and because of which it will not work further. So that is why it's like, you know, though uh, in the Indian system, what do we do? We, there will be people who will be running it, right? The engines will be there. All those things will be there. But here in the Japan and all, they have this technology. But yes, this technology also have a disadvantage. The usefulness is also there. But at the same time, so many disadvantages there. They do not require any person actually you know, to run these trains. They do not require any kind of the activation, deactivation. The only thing, initially itself, they have to work on the temperature or the length or the distance or the speed. So initially, they will be working on that. And then only they come on the track actually to run it. So... The metros also they work, but they do not work on this system of electromagnets, right? The they will have a system like you might have seen the on the metros there will be the wires also. Have you seen the top of the metros? They will be connecting to the wires and all. So there is a different system, and here this is a different system. It will take so many years actually, I think, for India to come up with this kind of the technology. But yes, one day Matram is like somehow uh, they have increased the speed of the train. Right. So, uh, I'll share the link of this video. Remaining video, you should watch it. It is a very interesting video. You get to know more about that. So, that is how it works. I'll just go to the PPT. So, now how does a maglev train move forward? Like magnetic poles produce a push. To move the train forward. So what happened? The arrangement of the poles will be in such a way. See, south will be there, north, north. South, south, north. South, north, north. So they have arranged in such a way that there will be both things. There will be a kind of the, here what will be there? Here it will be, oh, here it will be attraction. Okay, here it will be attraction. And here it will be repulsion. So then again repulsion, then attraction. So these will keep on moving. So attraction, repulsion, repulsion, attraction, attraction, repulsion. So like this, they work on the electromagnets or they work on the track. So both the things are happening, attraction also, repulsion also. So because of this, the train starts working. And the gap is there. You can see this is here the gap. 
this is a gap here in between the track and the train. Mama cannot see my see your screen. Okay, let me share it again. Yes, Mama, thank you. Okay, okay. So while unlike magnetic poles also creates pulling, the force to nudge the train onwards. Remember that unlike poles are dragged. So these unlike poles, what do they do? They start pulling. Here the like poles, they also do that. So because of that, continuous forwardness will be there. They start moving forward. They will start nudging the train onwards or forward. So you have to keep in mind that it should be the attraction then repulsion, then repulsion and attraction. So they are arranging the magnets in such a way. Now, maglev trains experience barely any friction, allowing them to move smoothly and quickly. They are also more efficient, environmentally friendly than modern trains. So we have so many modern trains, so they are better than that. So that is about the maglev trains they are the really modern and futuristic way to travel but why do you think only a few countries use them so since you know why the only countries use them it is because of the economy actually so i spend for the train and the people of india also i feel like you know though i am also like to belong to india and an indian citizenship i am but what happens you might have seen yourself like people they will be uh not maintaining the property well right so the metros also they will be dancing creating videos or doing uh, eating throwing the waste material there so these are also the factors which does not allow the government to work on and most important reason that we do not have the ample of sufficient money actually because we need the money we need such amount of the magnet that we can be used to generate these trains actually then the big train requires so many, so many other materials also. It is not only, you know, the plastic is needed or maybe only steel is needed. So many other materials are also required. So we cannot afford that. So until unless our economy is growing, we cannot do that. That's the reason we do not have it. And the metros also, you might have, you know, in between uh, one month back, you might have heard a lot of about the metro. Then in metro, this things happen, that thing happen, all those things, right? So... And Vande Matram is also one of them, actually. People are traveling, they're enjoying the food is also good. But a few days back, there was a news in the food of that Vande Matram uh, train. There was a lizard in it. Then, So this is actually the drawback because I, if I'm working as a worker, what I believe, I believe that I should get money. Whether the insect goes into the food, whether any lizard goes into the food, whether any other thing goes into the food, right? I'm getting my money. So that is what the Indian actually, you know, think of only money they think of. They do not think like, you know, what is going to happen next or the people, the who, the person who is going to eat that, how they will behave. So that is actually we have the drawback. I don't know how many years it will be taking, but definitely it requires so many years. So am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Harshit, what about you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now I'll be sharing a few worksheets with you and you need to do those worksheets. Let me do that. Mm. Just give me a minute. I'm The first worksheet which I have shared there. Have you opened that? For each pair of magnets, write, attract or repel. What would be the answer for the first one, Neha? Mom, where is it posted? On the WhatsApp actually. Uh, just a minute. Okay. Harshit, have you got it? Yes, ma'am. 
What will be the answer for the first one? Repulsion, ma'am. Ma'am, attraction, attraction. <laughs> yes, attraction. attraction. Good, good. Okay, Bhavesh, what will be the answer for the second one? And they will ripple. Very good. Why they will ripple, but? Because the poles are same. Okay, because similar poles are there. That is why they will ripple. Okay, Harshit, the answer for the third one? Ma'am, uh, it's repulsion, ma'am. Reason? Ma I can Ma'am, okay. because there are opposite sides. Opposite, opposite side? Repulsion will be there for the opposite or same? Same, ma'am. Yeah. So, both are same. That is why they will ripple. Okay, Neha, last one, the fourth one. What will be the answer? Attraction or repulsion? No, attraction. Because they are unlike poles. Yeah, because unlike poles are there. That is why the attraction will be there. Okay. Now... Second worksheet, I'll be sharing. Okay, okay, so this worksheet, I'll explain you first of all, attraction. We have discussed all these vocabs actually, but I'll revise it. So here you have few of the meanings given. Attraction means a force under the influence of which objects tend to move towards each other. So in this is what happened. It's a kind of the force which is generated where the two objects will come close together. Like north and the south will come close together. Repulsion, a force under the influence of which the object will move away. That is the repulsion. Compass, that is an instrument that will determine the direction by means of a freely rotating magnetic needle. So if we have discussed a property, right? So when we leave the magnet in a free environment, then what happens? They will rest in the north-south direction. So with the help of the compass, we can find the indirection. Then magnets, they are the rock or the metal that create an invisible magnetic field. So those magnetic fields, those lines, actually we cannot see around the magnet. And they attract other magnets and the few metals also. Then magnetic poles, the two ends of a magnet where the magnetic field is the strongest. And all magnets have two poles, the north and the south pole. So we know very well what do they have. They have a two poles. North and the South Pole. The North Pole, the end of a magnet which is attracted to the Earth magnetic North Pole and South Pole which is attracted to the Earth magnetic South Pole. Then magnetic substance which is capable of being attracted by a magnet that is called as the magnet. Now coming to the third worksheet. Third and fourth you will be doing. Fine, I'll just explain you what you should do. In the third one, they have given you the hints. You have to follow the hints and fill the blanks, okay, which are given there. And also you have to answer the two questions which are given. The first one, what would happen if you put the south pole of two magnets near each other and you, can, you can't see magnetic force. So how do you know it exists? So these are the two questions, okay? So this is the first worksheet. In the fourth worksheet, you have to predict. Predict means you have to think only, first of all. So you have to think or you have to imagine if the metal are magnetic or not. Test the metals with a magnet and record and compare the result. So you have to, first of all, think whether it is a magnetic or not. And then in reality, you want to do it and then write your result. So silver, for, simple, for example, silver, I am thinking, yes, it is. So I'll be ticking on the yes. And now I'll be taking the magnet and I'll be touching it to the uh, to the sil any silver. So will it attract or will it repel? On the basis of that, you will be writing the result. Okay. So silver, nickel, copper, iron, aluminium, cobalt, steel, brass, zinc, and the lodestone. So out of these, how many are magnetic? How many are non-magnetic? So you have to do it. If you have the magnet, do it. Okay. Do it at home with these different materials and identify and then tell me like, you know, whether it is magnetic or not, whether it is attract or repel. So start doing these two worksheets. And these are the homework also. The third one and the fourth one are the homework. So you should share your answers by today itself. Am I clear, Harshit? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Neha, clear? Yes, ma'am. Bhavesh? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And this uh, Magli train link I'll be sharing with you. The presentation also I'll be sharing with you. Go through that. Go through the video also. 
and the two worksheets you need to solve. So these are the certain homework for today. So right away, I'll share that. Mom, what should we write? Uh, you should actually complete the third and the fourth worksheet, Harshit. Mom, right now? Yes, actually. Because time is going to get over. Whatever you are able to complete, complete it, okay? And the remaining will be the homework. Okay, children, then complete these two worksheets as homework and share your answers by today itself, okay? And Monday, Harsha ma'am will be taking your class instead of me because I have taken today, okay? So, anything anything else you want to know, children? Are the classes going on fine? Any problem? No, ma'am. Fine. Okay, children. No, okay, children. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.